All right, folks. So this is the HP 2000 model. Um, usually, when you replace a screen, you want to pull out the battery first. That's always a good idea, as uh, you don't want any power to your laptop when you're doing it. So the tools that I have are a Phillips screwdriver, a smaller Phillips screwdriver, and a pry tool. The first thing you'll need to do is grab these little tabs right here. So you just pull out the tabs, and they look like that. Just stick them to the side. Pull the little tab on the other side. It's just adhesive. Now you're going to use your screwdriver and do this screw and then do this screw. And then you're going to use your pry tool to come up and undo this. And this just comes right off. So set that to the side. Okay, you're gonna wanna undo your your three screws right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And your screw up here. And your screw up here. Okay. <clears throat> Laptop screen will fall off. Now you'll be looking at it like this. So now that you have that, you can tilt this forward a little bit and begin unscrewing your screen. So this is the other screw that's on the other side. There's three screws on each side of the screen that hold the screen in place with a little metal bracket that you see uh, right there at the bottom of the screen. So you simply undo these screws, making sure you hold the screen with the other side so that uh, it doesn't fall. And once you have all three screws taken out, it will uh, simply come out. These screws are small, so be careful. Make sure you, you put them all in one place and um, don't lose them. Pretty easy to get lost, so keep them all together. And this is the last screw to take out down here at the bottom. Now that that's done, the screen will just come out. And again, keep all your screws in one spot. I can't emphasize that enough. I, I've lost quite a few in my repair days. 
So now we're going to take out the LCD connection. Um, it's held on by some adhesive there on the front side. So you peel it with a with your fingernails. You peel it with a, a razor blade, or whatever. Just be careful on peeling it. And then once it's peeled, um, there's also adhesive on the back of this. So hold down the the plastic and and pull up the connection. And then you just pull it straight out. And there it is, disconnected. So now we have this LCD that's bad, and we'll put it to the side. We'll grab this new one that I got shipped to me from LaptopScreens.com. They uh, shipped it priority mail, pretty reasonable price of $10. I had the screen within three days, two days after I ordered it. so. Pretty reasonable on the shipping rates and also pretty uh, pretty efficient to get it out to you. They also package it pretty well. They put, put it in a bubble wrap and an envelope and then also in this uh, this metal covering uh, kind of sleeve. So after you get your new LCD out of out of the packaging, um, I recommend you keep the the cover on there until you get it all situated and connected up. The first thing we're going to do is the LCD um, connector. And you can't see this in the video too well, but um, It'll just slide under there, and you'll feel the connection with your with your hands. You'll feel it go in there, and you'll feel when it's a good connection. So you just peel the tape back a, a little bit further, and and you just slide the gold connection under the other gold connections, and you'll feel it kind of click in there and kind of pop just like that. So make sure it's clicked in there, make sure it's good, um, push the tape down. What I like to do on the to be on the safe side is to grab more tape so I just put an extra piece of tape um, clear packing tape is fine over the existing one and then I also put another one where um, the old adhesive was on the bottom part keep that connection good keep it sta stable and still so that uh, you don't have problems with your screen later so now it's just reverse order of everything that we just did so you're gonna just put it all back together and I'll show you how to do this in the video, but if you know how to put it all back together from taking it all apart, then uh, you could stop watching now if you'd like. So just by putting it together, um, like I said, keep the LCD screen on. And what I've done is I've taken the hinges and I've bent them down as if the laptop were uh, laying down, just to give it a little bit more stable platform. and then I began screwing everything in. Again, this is the small screwdriver and the small silver screws that you took out of there will be the same ones that go back in. Holes have to line up exactly and that's how the, the screws go in. If any one of them are off, then it's kind of a pain in the butt to get in. So what I usually do is I do the bottom one on one side, do the top one on the other, and then do the, the top one on the other side and the bottom one on the other side just to 
give it a a good tightness to it. So here's the top one on the other side. These don't need to be overly tight, just secure. So now I'll just go ahead and do the middle one. And I'll jump ahead to not bore you, so you're gonna put the screws in those one in those holes that we just took it out of to mount the brackets onto the plastic. Just to emphasize, you want to make sure that uh, all your wiring is out of the way and run through the proper, proper channels that, that are there in the plastic so as to not put screws into them. So again, we'll start up here at the top left and we'll put a screw in up there. And there's three screws down here at the bottom. Um, you'll leave the the top screw out that goes with the hinge, the hinge cover. You'll leave that one out because obviously the hinge cover, that's what I'm holding there, um, has to go in there first and then you put the screw on top of that. So the hinge cover you'll feel click in there and once it clicks in there then you just put the black screw there in the top and secure the hinge cover on each side of the screen and once it's secured in there you have to be you have to be kind of careful with them because they are fragile I think I snapped one doing this and because it's a budget laptop you kind of have to hold it still and uh, and realize what you're working with here not made by the by the most expensive bidder actually the other way around so after you have all your screws in you you screw in the hinge covers and then um, and then we're ready for the screen cover to go on the outside and that's right over here on the bottom of the screen cover there's little magnets that will guide you in to help you to snap that screen cover into place. Takes a little while to get situated. Um, I would put in the bottom first and then work my way around. Like I said there's little magnets there on the bottom that help guide it into where it's supposed to be in place. So now that's there you can just push on the on the sides not on the LCD itself because you don't want it to crack so just push on the back and on the and on the sides and just keep going like that all the way around and it'll snap back into place once it's all snapped back, back into place and you you've secured all the way around then that's when you can start working your way to the other part. I go around a couple times just to make sure everything's secure and uh, looking good. The last two pieces of the puzzle are these last two black screws that go in the bottom of the cover. So to do this you have to tilt the screen back quite a ways, find a skinny screwdriver to go in there and that's what goes in the bottom to secure the LCD cover to the chassis. So now that those are all secure you grab your little um, covers that go on there they should have enough adhesive left on them for you to just stick them on. If not, you might want to grab some extra adhesive.
And let's give it a run. Oh, that would probably help. Put the battery in. There you go, let's try it again. And if everything looks good, then it should just power up here and give us our window screen without a crack in it. Looks good. That concludes this tutorial of how to replace a screen in a HP 2000 428DX.